Hi everyone, it's Pastor Wagner. This is my weekly video blog. Today I want to talk about how the NIV and most of the other modern Bible perversions teach that Jesus Christ is Satan. Yes, it's true, and I'll show you. First of all, the King James Version, the real Bible, the inspired, preserved Word of God, teaches that Lucifer is Satan who fell from heaven. In Isaiah 14, in verses 12 through 15, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Pretty clear here who is being spoken of. Lucifer was the the angel that fell from heaven. And Jesus identifies Lucifer as Satan in Luke 10 and verse 18. It says, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So the King James Version teaches that it was Satan, Lucifer, that fell from heaven. And the King James also teaches that Jesus Christ is the morning star and the day star. Revelation 22 and verse 16. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Remember that. Jesus Christ is the morning star. Just remember. 2 Peter 1 and verse 19 in the King James. We also have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. And you can look at the context, it's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ called the day star. Now the NIV, which is short for the non-inspired version, this version teaches that Jesus Christ is Satan. Let me show it to you. In Isaiah 14 and verse 12, the verse we just read in the KJV a minute ago, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn? You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. So the NIV, the non-inspired version, says that it was the morning star that fell from heaven. Now let's do some comparative study in this non-inspired version. In Revelation 22 and verse 16, I, Jesus, have sent my, my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star. So the Bible tells us to compare spiritual things with spiritual, right? So we compare scripture and we see in Isaiah, it says that the morning star fell from heaven, who is clearly Satan. And then in Revelation 22, it says that Jesus Christ is the morning star. So put it together. Jesus Christ is Lucifer who fell from heaven, according to the non-inspired version, the NIV. The ESV is a little more muddled, but basically teaches the same thing. In Isaiah 14 and verse 12, it says, How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn. How, how are you cut down to the ground, who laid, who, who, uh, you who laid the nations low? Remember what the, what the real Bible, the King James says? Remember what it calls Jesus Christ, the day star, in 2 Peter 1 and verse 19? The ESV, which is the English slanderous version, it teaches that Satan is called the day star there in Isaiah 14 and verse 12. In Revelation 22 and verse 16, it says, similar to the KJV, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel, and you jump down, he says, the bright morning star. So the ESV says that Jesus is the morning star, and then it says that Satan is the day star, son of the dawn. Dawn, morning, morning, star, get it? And furthermore, the King James calls Jesus the day star. The ESV calls Satan the day star. The NASB, the New Alexandrian Slanderous Bible, says in Isaiah 14 and verse 12, How you are fallen from heaven, O son of the morning, son of the dawn. You have been cut down to the earth. You have weakened the nations. So the NASB says that Satan who fell from heaven is the star of the morning or the morning star, right? Let's do some comparative scripture reading with the NASB. And we see there in Revelation 22 and verse 16, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things for the churches. 
I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. So the New Alexandrian slanderous version says that Jesus Christ, the morning star, was Satan who fell from heaven. You see that when you compare the scripture? Isn't that nice? The NLT, the Not Living Translation, teaches in Isaiah 14 and verse 12, how are you fallen from heaven, O shining star, son of the morning? You have been thrown down to the earth. You have destroyed the nations of the world. And then when we look in that same version, the NLT in Revelation 22 and verse 16, it says, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to give you this message for the churches. I am both the source of David and the heir to his throne. I am the bright morning star. So in Isaiah 14, 12, it says that Satan is... The shining star, the sun of the morning, in other words, the morning star. We look over in Revelation, it says Jesus is the morning star. Put it together, Jesus is Satan who fell from heaven in all these false, filthy perversions of the Bible. So if there's no other reason for you to stop reading these other filthy pieces of trash that call themselves Bibles, the fact that they teach that Jesus Christ is Satan might be a good idea to just chuck those ones off to the side and get a real Bible, get a King James Version. And if you want to learn more, I've done several, quite a few videos exposing the false doctrine and the satanic teaching of these new Bibles. And I will put uh, a link to a, a page on my church website where you can find those videos and some other sermons and Bible studies. Thank you for your kind and patient attention today, and I will talk to you again next week, Lord willing.